The images are now familiar. School children hands in the air. Parents rushing to find their child after a school shooting. Officials have responded with a national push to address security. Sit close together. Including the extensive together. use of school lockdowns. Red zone, what's that? It's where you go in the back room and then you stay quiet just in case someone's trying to, trying to like, get you. A Washington Post investigation found more than 4 million kids lived through a lockdown in the past year. A number substantially bigger than those on campus during actual school shootings. But the investigation found many children suffer trauma even when it's just a lockdown. It is very jarring to them. They don't know it's coming. It's certainly very, very scary at the time. And this leads to many children and teens having reactions that include all forms of anxiety. You got it. For Father Andrew Donaldson, whose six year old son has only practiced the drills, it's a sobering reality. Did you know your six year old son was doing these active shooter drills? Active shooter? No. no. I was very shocked. The fact that you could see what an impact it's had on him and the fact that he's that conscious to the fact that, you know, they're, they're afraid, they're concerned. There's fear going on in a classroom environment. Security breach. While schools across the country continue to prepare for a worst case scenario, they face a new challenge. The potentially life saving maneuvers can also create lasting emotional effects. Tammy Leitner, NBC News, Miramar, Florida. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.